This is a 1-200 scale recreation of the world's second busiest airport, Dubai International. In this video, I will show you how I built this, along with special tips to build your own model airport. Make sure to watch until the end and be part of the magic. Enjoy the video. Model airports are very fun projects, and you could build a realistic one right now with just household materials. This airport was only built using foam board, paint, and paper, so there's really no need to buy expensive terminals and these pre-made setups that they sell online. You can literally build something that looks far more interesting and realistic on your own. So before you get into building, we have to look into scaling, and scaling is a key step for designing your plans. Now first things first, we need to make sure both the airplanes and airport are in the same modeling scale. So how do we scale our model airports? You've probably seen models associated with 1 to 200, 1 to 400, 1 to 500, and so on. So these are different modeling scales, and the higher the number, the smaller the model. 1 to 200 and 1 to 400 are two of the most common model aircraft scales. This airport is 1 to 200 scale, meaning one unit of measurement represents 200 times that value on the real thing. So for example, the wingspan of this Model A380 is 15.72 inches. Now if I multiply that by 200, I end up with 3,144 inches, or 262 feet, which is the real life wingspan of the A380. Now scaling takes us into the next step of building a realistic airport. We literally have to look at the real thing. So in order to do this, we have to go into Google Maps and start measuring. Now if, if I go to Dubai, and I want to measure the full length of this terminal, I can right click, click measure distance, and then click the other side of this terminal. And what I'm seeing here is that it's 3,100 feet. Now I can put that into the scaling calculator and in 1 to 200 scale, that comes to around 15 feet. Now once you finish measuring and converting, move on to the next step, which is building the base. So once again, you can get creative with this. I built this airport on top of a folding table and a large plank of wood, and as long as the base is sturdy and the right size, you'll be good to go. Next step is to start creating the taxiways. So I use cheap $1 foam board as a base for this. Now it's easy to paint and work with, and it resembles the texture of asphalt. So uh, if you're using foam board to paint, make sure to remove the paper on both sides, or else it will curl up and your airport will never lay flat. So you'll just have bumps and mountains in your airport, and that wouldn't look good. Now if you go back to Google Maps, as you can see, the entire airport ramp is not one color. So there are different patterns of concrete tiles and asphalt. Now all airports are different, so make sure to paint the taxiways based off of the airport you want to create. For Dubai, they use asphalt for the taxiways and they use concrete tiles, it looks like, for the areas closer to the center line, which is pretty interesting. Now if you're doing an airport in the US, it looks absolutely nothing like that. So make sure to check for your airport. For the concrete tiles, I downloaded them off of this website and simply printed them off. And referencing Google Maps, I cut the tiles into sections and glued them onto the painted foam board. A glue stick or fast drying multi-purpose glue will work fine to glue them onto the foam board. Now next up are the taxiway and runway markings. Now this is where the details start to come in. So you can buy Sharpie's creative markers to draw the lines. These are nice and cheap and uh, they work really well. Make sure to use a straight edge for all the lines to make them neat. And to draw the turns, you can use any rounded object that's large enough. So I referenced Google Maps to ensure everything was in the right place. And on the runway, I used paint for the threshold markings and side stripes. And then for the designation markings and numbers, I used the Sharpie markers. Now, if you want to go further and create taxiway directional signs, you can simply make your own in Google Drawings and print them off. And it's really not too complicated. I made this in around 10 minutes and it looks very realistic. And a glue sticker fast drying multi-purpose glue for this will also do the job. So once you do this, we can move on to the ramp area. So first you can start by printing some more concrete tiles and gluing them to the foam board, just like this. 
Now since you won't be painting this section, you don't need to remove the paper from the foam board. Now the gate markings can be drawn using the Sharpie marker. Make sure you have a white one or whichever color you need. The buy in this case is white and the line in the, the center line, or they call it the lead-in line, is yellow. And I also went further in detail and outlined a black line around that lead-in line. Now we arrive at the final step, the terminal and the gates. So this part is where you need to get creative. And this is where scaling really comes into play. This is basically how I created Dubai's terminals. They're a really unique shape and they're pretty hard to make. And also they're really massive. Just four gates take up at least five feet of space, which is crazy. Now we're coming up on the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know if you'd like a second video on model airports where I'll go in more into gates and other details. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.